Hi there and congratulations on making a great decision by choosing to build your website with Web Starts. In this video, I will show you some of the basic things you need to know to get started creating your very own custom website. When you first log into Web Starts, you'll see what we call the dashboard and to get right in and start making changes to the pages of your site, be sure to click on Edit Website. This will load what we call the Page Editor. The first thing I'd like to show you is how to edit the text that appears on your page. You can do this by selecting a text box, choosing the pencil icon to make edits to it, selecting the text, and then typing. You can change text properties by using the toolbar that appears while text is selected. You can add a new text box to your page by clicking the add icon, choosing text, and then choosing the size of text that you would like to add. For this demonstration, I'm going to add a heading, so I'll choose Heading Large. To add an image to a page, click the Add icon, go to Image, and select an image from what we call the File Manager. You can populate the File Manager by uploading images from your own computer by clicking Upload, linking to your Facebook account, choosing an image from our image library, or linking your Instagram account. When you find an image you would like to place on the page, select the image and then click Insert File. The image will appear on the page and you can then drag and drop it wherever you would like it to appear. You can resize images by dragging the handles. To edit an image that already appears on your page, select it, double click, and then choose the image you would like to replace it with. To save the changes you've made to your page, be sure to click the Save icon located in the top left of the page editor. You can view those changes live on the web by clicking View Site. To edit another page of your website, select it from the drop-down menu in the top left. The page editor will load and you can begin to make changes. To create a new web page, click on the New Page icon in the top left and then choose whether you would like to start with a blank page or make a copy from an existing page. I recommend making a copy from an existing page in order to maintain a consistent look across your website. For this example, I'm going to make a copy of the About page, so I click to select it, and then I'm going to give the new page a name, and I'm going to call it Services. When I'm ready, I click Create Page. The page is then created, and loaded into the page editor. You can see in the drop down menu, I'm now on the services page. Also, notice that services was added to my page navigation menu. I can change the order which these pages appear on my menu by clicking pages and then choosing the handle next to it and then dragging and dropping. Notice that the order changed when I did that. To delete a page, simply go to file and choose delete page and then confirm you would like to delete the page. Once the page is deleted, it's gone forever, so make sure that you're certain you would like to delete the page before continuing. To delete any element on your page, simply select the element and then click the red X attached to the element in order to delete it. You can also do this by tapping the delete key on your keyboard. If at any time you make a mistake, you can always go back by clicking the undo icon on the toolbar. You can go forward by clicking the Redo icon on the toolbar. To duplicate an element, select it and then click the Duplicate icon on the toolbar. To insert content into an existing page, use the Smart Handles to create space. Select the area where you would like to create the space, click on the top Smart Handle, hold down and drag. If you're not feeling super inspired or not sure how to lay out new content on your page, I recommend you check out Content Blocks. You can add a content block to your page by clicking the Add icon on the side toolbar and then choosing Content Blocks and then choosing from a content block type. Once you select the content block, it's added to the bottom of your page and you can then drag and drop it wherever you would like it to appear. Content block elements can be moved all at once by selecting somewhere in the white space, or you can reposition an individual element contained within the group simply by dragging and dropping it on its own. Now that you're happy with your website, share it with the rest of the world by clicking the Add Domain button. 
choose a domain name for your website. Please note that to do this, you must be upgraded to at least the WebStarts Pro plan. Enter the domain name that you would like to use with your website into the field provided and click Check Availability. If your domain name is available, you'll be able to confirm your registration and it will be automatically set up to work with your website in a few moments. In this video, we covered just a few of the basic features of WebStarts. To see what else WebStarts can do, visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash WebStarts or visit our knowledge base at help.webstarts.com. Thanks for watching.